Hi guys, so today we are going to see a car production from the independent set to the vertex cover problems. My videos depend on the wisdom of the crowd, a topic that really fascinates me. So if the information I provide is wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. I promise to read all comments and re-upload if necessary. Please subscribe to my channel to be notified of any uh, new videos. Okay, so um, both problems are related to graphs and for starters, let's explain them. Independent set problem receives a graph and an integer and determines if the graph includes an independent set of the size of the given integer. An independent set of vertices is a set in which none of the vertices is adjacent to any other. In other words, there is no connecting edge between any of the vertices of the set. The vertex cover problem on the other end receives a graph and an integer and checks if the graph includes a set of vertices that touch every single edge of the graph, at least from one end. The size of the, of the vertex cover set isn't bigger than the given integer. So uh, let's get to the solution, shall we? All right, so we want to prove that in graph uh, g equals uh, ve, s is an independent set if and only if v, the set of all vertices of the graph, minus s, our independent set, is a vertex cover. So in order to prove that, um, we're going to um, use a classic uh, way to prove uh, if and only if uh, uh, claims. Uh, we are going to use uh, two directions. On the first direction, we are going to assume that um, uh, S is an independent set, and we're going to uh, come to the conclusion that V minus S is a vertex cover in the graph. And on the other direction, we're going to assume the opposite. Uh, we're going to assume that um, V minus S is a vertex cover in the graph, and we're going to come to the conclusion that as a result, uh, S is an independent set. So, uh, let's carry on. So, G equals VE. S um, is an independent set, if and only if V minus S is a vertex cover. First direction. Assume that S is an independent set, so there is no edge in the graph G that has both endings. In general, um, vertex vertices uh, U and V. Uh, that are included in the set S. Therefore, at least one of the ver vertices, either U or V, must be included in the set V minus S. In other words, V minus S is the vertex cover in the graph. Now, um, before I continue, it is very important for me that uh, um, to uh, clarify that our job here is uh, is with indirect, undirected graphs. In other words, there is no um, uh, start and finish uh, points to um, to each edge, unlike in, in directed uh, graphs, in which uh, the direction of the edge uh, uh, do does matter. Anyway, um, the the second direction is the following. Let V minus S be a vertex cover in graph G. Therefore, for every two vertices in the set S, U or V in general, if there is an edge E between them, either the vertex A or the vertex V must be in the set V minus S. Otherwise, the definition of, of a vertex cover would be demolished. Therefore, there are no two vertices in S that are connected with an edge. Therefore, S is an independent set in the graph G. In conclusion of both directions, G, G include an independent set if and only if G include a vertex cover of the size V minus K as required. 
Well, that's about it. I hope you learned something new from this video and please comment below with your thoughts. Uh, first degree studies in university are all about social studies and this project comes to encourage that. Even through complicated situations most of us are going through right now. Um, that's it. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.